Last time on the 2018 Big Gorilla Week. Georgia's big city brawl set includes a fence, a small helicopter, the core veteran vulture, and a large but medium George. Now the pilot and co-pilot of this mini chopper are Lieutenant Foster and Lieutenant Douglas. Someone said that maybe one of the pilots sat on the other's lap. This is Vulture version 3, and I really like these colors on him. And when we let go, he actually smashes down. He, he doesn't move, so it's not like, uh, like the larger version of George. The first time we saw George, he was uh, maybe a little bit bigger than the average ape, but he was still relatively small. Then after the canister opened up and he started mutating, he became a medium-sized beast. But he was still much bigger than the action figure that he came with. Medium George has jaw chomping and arm slamming action. He continues to mutate, and this time we get to look at George's final form, Mega George. And I gotta say, He's Kong-sized. Maybe I should take back what I just said. Mega George is actually shorter than Kong, so he's almost there. Mega George actually comes with another figure of Davis Okoye. Yeah, I know in the first video I called him Akaye, but it's actually Okoye. Some of you guys might recognize Davis as The Rock, which is actually pretty cool. Mega George does beat out Kong in a few features, most notably, the fact that the Bazooka Obsessed Comrade is out of the picture and we get a different variant of Mr. Okoye. So I guess this would be... I don't know, Davis Okoye version 2? Okay, now don't start that again! Let's have a quick look at The Rock. We already looked at the articulation and I talked about him for a bit already in the Canister Contact George set. If you'd like to know all that information about this figure, you can go ahead and go check out that video. I'll put the link in the description below. The tan version comes from the same mold as the new one. The leg on this one actually works much better. So the maroon rock that I got must have been a dud. Now don't let that discourage you from getting these figures. Now unfortunately the tan version didn't come with any accessories. Let's take a look at what he would look like with the other rocks accessories. He actually doesn't look too bad. Now, I did notice two small things on these guys. The maroon one actually has a white shirt underneath. The tan one, well, he doesn't have any painted features on his chest. The tan one has his holster that's been painted brown, while the maroon one doesn't have any paint on his leg. But, you can still smell what the rock is cooking. Or is that Mega George? Speaking of Mega George, he's definitely an improvement from Kong. George's head can move up and down and it could kind of move side to side. Now this feature is like that because George here can actually uh, stand on all fours. Which brings me to his next improvement. He actually has articulation on his legs. Now his legs can actually move because he can stand on all fours. Another thing is that his uh, his hands and feet are made from a soft plastic and they are now on ball joints. So that is definitely an improvement from the last one. Now this makes it much easier for him to stand, but um, it's not like Kong was difficult to stand, but it does add more to George's posability. George's arms are also longer, so he can get into that all fours pose. Now the only strange thing about my George is that it's just the way that he was molded. It looks like the plastic was too cool when it was pushed into the mold, leaving him all marked up. But that's no big deal. He just looks like he has alien markings on him or something. Besides Kong's height, another thing that he beats George in is his arm positioning. Kong seems to have much greater articulation in that department. Now that I've taken a look at all three Georges, which one do I like the most? 
they're all really good and really fun. It's a difficult decision, but I would have to give it up to the regular George. Even though he's static and solid, the sculpt on him is top notch. Oh, and just look at that face. Oh, he just melts my heart. So that was all three of the George Rampage sets. Which one was your favorite? I personally like the Canister Contact set. These are pretty awesome, and I hope you enjoyed the 2018 Big Gorilla Week. We are still continuing the Rampage reviews. Which monster will be next? Stay tuned to find that out. <laughs>